In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the available units of measure in CSS. So let's take a look at a quick slide to understand the differences. Now there's two main categories. There's absolute units of measure and there are relative units of measure. And the absolute units of measure are here on the left. We have pixels, points, pikas, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. And over here on the right, we have percentage based units. We have what are known as M's, E-M, and we have what are known as X's, E-X. Now all of these relative units of measure over here on the right are based off of something else. The percentage, obviously 50% is 50% of something. So that's going to be based off of a current value. The M value is always based off of the user's current font size declared in their preferences for their particular browser. The default for most browsers is a 16 point font. So if I say 1M for the font size, I'm saying essentially 100% or 1, the factor of 1 for the current font size. So essentially 1M would be a 16 point font. If I said 2Ms, I'm saying twice the value of the current font size. If I said 3Ms, I'm saying three times the value, et cetera, et cetera. X is essentially the line height of a font, or it's the size of the lowercase x, whereas M is the size of the capital letter M in the current font size as well. So you can kind of think of an x as almost being a half of an M, 0.5 M. And so all of those units of measure um, are relative. Over here on the left, um, these are fairly self-explanatory. A pixel is a pixel. Now you could maybe argue that the pixel is actually a relative unit of measure because pixels, I guess, technically change from screen to screen in resolution and pixel density. But for our purposes, we're going to leave them over in the absolute category. Points are 1 72nd of an inch. That comes from the printing standard with um, points. I'm sure you're familiar with points from Word and other softwares, 12 point font, 14 point font. Pikas is just simply referred to, uh, referred to as 12 points. And then an inch is an inch, a centimeter is a centimeter, and a millimeter is a millimeter. Those values don't ever change, they're always absolute. So we can use any of these units of measure in CSS. And I'll give you a quick example of how we can do that in our code. I'll switch back here to the previous example we've been working on. And I'm gonna delete all of this code we had in here for our background image and save and come back here and make sure we're just kind of at a blank slate for our CSS. Whoops, I just closed out of there. Let's open this back up come into our CSS sheet and refresh. Okay, so we deleted all that content, so we're back to just where we've started. Now back here in our code, I'm gonna change the font size of that object. And I'm gonna use several different units of measure. So I'll start off and say font-size, and let's just do a point based at first. So I'll say 18 points. And let's save and refresh. And that heading does in fact change to an 18 point font size. We can do pika, so I can say one PC and refresh, and that's a 12 point font. I can say one, whoops, one IN for inch and refresh, and that's an inch size. Let's do the centimeter, and then we can do the millimeter. So you can see the millimeter is obviously a very, very small font size. So those are most of the relative units. I think I got them all. Let's switch over to the absolute. These are a little bit more abstract and a little bit difficult to grasp first. So at first, I'm just going to set this font size to 100%. And essentially, this isn't going to change anything. It's just going to display at 100% of the current font size, which is set to 16 pixels by default in my browser. So that doesn't really do anything. 200% is going to double it and et cetera, et cetera. I can do up to 600%. I can also do 25%. And you can see how those relative units of measure work. Now let's switch this over to M's. I'm gonna say one M isn't going to change anything because that's one, a factor of one of the current font size. So that's basically like saying 100%. If I switch this to three M's in this instance, it's kind of like saying 300%. Let's switch it over to 1x, and this is going to half it, because this is half of the current font size. It's the line height, which happens to be half of 16, so 8. 
and et cetera, et cetera.